Healing without scars is hard for your body to do, but there are cells that are good at it. And here at Worcester Polytechnic Institute, professors like Ray Page in the Biomedical Engineering Department are looking at taking those cells, growing more of them, and then putting them back in your body to assist with the process. So you're taking cells, like skin cells, and actually turning them into stem cells to use, right? Uh, not exactly. Um, basically what, what we're doing is we're taking s cells that are resident in, they're in skin, for example, or in connective tissue, muscle tissue, and we're culturing them in such a way that they induce markers that are consistent with less differentiated cells, not necessarily embryonic stem cells. And one of the reasons that, that that's important is we want the cells to be able to treat the tissue with which they come from. So are these the cells in a muscle that are just there anyway, that if you, if you get injured, they, if you they get do injured, the regeneration? Right, through routine exercise or whatever, when you actually break down muscle tissue, what will happen is you activate these cells. And they, then they'll, they basically will reform new muscle fiber or damaged muscle fiber. And in some cases, build, build new ones. And that's why people who work out their muscles get bigger and bigger and all of this kind of stuff. Um, but that, that, so that repair process, what we're trying to do is induce it on a large scale, if you will, or, or enable it to happen in, in, where, where um, you don't need just a repair of something that's existing. What was, what was there is now gone, okay? So you've got a large piece of muscle missing, for example. So we're trying to take cells that may be still in the local area, make large numbers of them um, in by the way we control the environment, we can actually retain that capability of these cells to be stem-like, if you will. Um, and so what we use are these very small hair-like structures that are basically made from the same material that um, blood clots are made from. And so this material is only going to last for a very short period of time in the wound, but the idea is, is that it'll give these therapeutically useful cells, if they're seated onto these, a temporary orientation, if you will. And so then we can embed this into the, you know, for example, if you needed some more tissue there, we would put it um, there and, and it would integrate with the host tissue and recapitulate that linear muscle structure. So That's this, the this idea stuff looks, um, it. looks like plastic, but it's, it's made of biological material. It, it actually looks exactly. a lot like uh, corn silk from corn on the cob. Exactly. It's a little bit smaller than that, for, uh, but, but you're right. And, and uh, it's basically, this is the structural material of a blood clot. So the idea would be to take these cells that are good at regenerating but aren't really stem cells, grow a bunch of them, combine them with that, which your body is used to having in it anyway, exactly. and then replacing the area that, that was damaged rather than letting your body do it itself in right. kind of an if emergency leave, response. You know? Right. If you leave it alone, and your response is to make sure that you stay alive by not getting a bacterial infection that can start here but then migrate throughout your whole body. And so that's why you get this sort of local inflammatory response. Your body is sealing that wound off, if you will, from the environment and saying, okay, there's bad stuff in that environment. I need to protect the rest of me from it. And, and those processes seem to be incompatible with functional regeneration. So this would be something that would not only prevent scarring but also allow the material underneath the actual muscle to right. go back to pretty much what was there before rather than that's be the, that, broken, that's right? The, right, exactly, and that's the, that's the ultimate goal. And how far are we from that? Are you at a point where you're we're, growing we're at a point. Stuff, we're at a point where we're, you know, we, we've, we've, we're working a lot on the, the detailed biology of the cells, trying to get them in exactly the right environment to become very myogenic, and we have some good data on that. Um, and this material has actually come a long way, and we're trying to look at ways to scale the manufacture of this up. We've done a lot of studies where we've put them together and we can actually get things to behave like muscle um, in, in the dish, if you will. And, and now we're in the process of trying to figure out the right model systems to go in and plant these in and see if they can actually restore muscle function. Sounds exciting. Thanks for yeah. telling me about it. You're quite welcome.